Over the past decade, Ivorian beans have been taken illegally to Ghana, where the government buys output at a fixed price. However, Cote d'Ivoire has introduced a minimum price for farmers to reduce illicit exports. Exporters say the Ivorian price is now seen as more attractive by Ghanaian farmers who can make bigger profits from selling their output. That means farmers in Ghana who get a fixed price for the season from the country's cocoa marketing board, Cocoa Bod, can get much more for their crop by smuggling it into Ivory Coast. Ghana is facing a string of economic challenges, including rising cost of living, slowdown in key sectors, and a depreciating SEDI currency. Ghanaian farmers say they are struggling to make a profit amidst these challenges. Ghana is our country. We use the cocoa to pay our men to build our hospitals and all kinds of rules. If we don't stop them, our country is going to go down. Our country is going to go down. Meanwhile, cocoa production in Cote d'Ivoire is at an all-time high. Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara ushered in reforms that established a single marketing board, the Coffee and Cocoa Council, to manage the sector. In a single season, the council succeeded in stamping out a decade-long trafficking epidemic that saw a peak of around 200,000 tons of cocoa lost to smugglers in the 2010-2011 season. But despite measures to curb the illicit exports, some Ivorian farmers say given the opportunity, they would still buy from smugglers. It's not the cooperative who will help them out, because they are the ones who will pay for their own fuel in order to sell their cocoa. But I, for one, will buy it from them. That's the way it is. The farmers are compelled to give most of the produce to the, to the buyers from Côte d'Ivoire, so that they can get enough money to cater for their children. Uh -huh. So it is not they are willing, but it is a situation that compelled them to do so. The marketing board announced at the start of the 2013-2014 season that it would open discussions with Ghanaian authorities on how the two countries could work together to combat illegal trafficking of the crop. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.